Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy 2. And guess what we're going to do this episode? We're going to get even more stars. Yep, we're almost done with the Green Star Challenge. We simply got World 6 and World S to go. So what do you say we start off with the best world in the entire stinking game, Melty Monster Galaxy, to get some stinking stars, yeah. <laughs> now, this one's stars are actually really tough. They're all really tough if you ask me in this level, but uh, we're doing them anyways. <laughs> And okay, star number one is actually in this area. Now, there's a bunch of these blue star things. What you gotta do is you gotta ricochet yourself into it, just like I did there. It actually might take you a couple tries, but it's not too terribly difficult. And alright, star number two is at the second checkpoint. What we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to get into the second tornado. And right above it is gonna be the green star. You can probably see the shadow right over there. I'm actually pointing it with the Wii Remote Pointer. <laughs> yes, and it's actually just right in this enclave, right next to the Warp Star, waiting to be retrieved by Luigi. Yeah. And alright guys, right now we're in this section with the Boulder Ball. And what we're gonna have to do here is we're gonna have to go through the course as normal. And this is also a really good place to get a bunch of star bits, so I highly recommend if you're low on star bits, you come to this level and repeatedly do it. That's not what we're talking about right now. The green star is right over here. Now what you gotta do is you gotta bounce yourself off of these little board things, and then you'll go right into the star. It may take you a couple tries though, that one's a little tricky. And okay, now that Melty Monster has been completed, let's go to Clockwork Ruins and see if these stars can be more of a challenge, which here's a little hint, yeah, they kind of are, because they're very elusive and kind of hard to find. You kinda gotta keep your ears open at almost all times. And okay, star number one is on top of this thing right past the uh, first winged hidden block. What you gotta do is you gotta spin jump at the top to nab the first star. And alright, green star number two is actually in this giant box. Now I recommend doing this once the gravity has already been shifted since it's actually impossible to do if it's not. So what you gotta do is you gotta come over here and just come over here. Oh, look at that. It's a star. Yeah. And alright guys, green star number three is at the end of the level. What we're going to have to do is we're going to have to mount one of these giant wheel things that falls down, just like how we got the normal power star the first time we were here. However, there is a twist. And if I can get on top of the wheel, I'll actually talk about it. Now what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to ride this wheel, okay? We're gonna have to ride this wheel all the way to the star. Easier said than done. I almost despise this level, but I actually did it pretty easily that time. That is way harder than I made it look. Yeah. Now that the clockwork ruins have been cleared, let's head back to the Nintendo 64 era and get three more green stars. Then we can go on to maybe Battle Block or the optional missions. I don't even know yet. I'm no, well, we'll decide pretty soon what we'll do after this. And okay, for green star number one, what we're going to have to do is, on the way to this ramp, we're going to have to get to the third platform that's over here, get directly in the center of it, and then fall down to green star number one. Now, green star number two could not be any easier. Simply, we got to get to the top of the fortress where this thwomp is, and we're going to get on his head, and he's going to bring us up, and we're going to have to get back on his head, okay. And he'll take us right over to the star, yeah. <laughs> Don't know why I said like he wasn't going to do it, but no, that's how you get that green star rather easily. Now green star number two is going to involve the cloud suit. So we're going to have to get one of the clouds over here, and then go on these cloud platforms that are, well, over here. So let's do that. Now... The tricky thing about this star is that you only got a couple clouds, and it's not really that fun. You can't really see where you're aiming either, so I just kind of give it a rough, rough estimation of where I'm supposed to be going, and roughly around here is where you want to go, and okay, that's all the stars for Throwback Galaxy. We got them all! Uh, pretty quickly, actually. Now it's time we head over to Battle Block Galaxy, which I swear, guys, is one of the easiest green star levels to get, because... Well, they're all generally in the same area, well, not really the same area, but they're all pretty much in the same location, if you catch what I mean. 
Now, Green Star Number One is located on top of the cage in the Jack O' Lantern planet. Yeah, it's that easy. Just get to the Jack O' Lantern planet and jump on top of that. Now, Green Star Number Two is on top of the Mole People's well cage. It's actually just that easy. Yeah, I don't even know why they programmed these stars like that. To be perfectly honest with you. Now, Green Star Number Three. Where you guys think it is? I just, I, just, I just don't even know anymore. I have no idea where they put that star. It's so hidden. I may never even find it. And well, now that all the fun levels are done, let's go do this sucky one. Yeah, we're going back to Flash Black Galaxy to do two stars, which honestly I'm not a fan of because the creativity involved in them is severely lacking. Okay, for green star number one, right before you get to the warp star, all you gotta do is flutter kick and dismount Yoshi. There you go. It's just, it's just okay. It's, just, it's an okay star. It's alright. It's alright. Now for green star number two, this is all you gotta do. Right at the end of the level, just turn your camera around and it's right to there. Two of the most boring stars in the entire game, if you ask me. Now that one of the worst galaxies ever has been completed, it's time we go to the slimy spring and gather us uh, some greenish stars? I don't know. I don't know exactly where I'm going with any of this, but yeah, we got about, hmm, I think four more stars to get in this world, and then we'll move on to the final world. Ooh. Now for green star number one, we're gonna have to keep our eyes peeled for this sucker. I uh, hear he's hiding behind a pillar on the left side, behind some, well, some rather unfortunately awkward tentacle monsters. Now what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to scout this sucker out. I believe he should be right behind here. If not, he'd look like a total retard. Nope, he's totally up here. If we turn the camera around awkwardly, he's gonna be right round there. Yeah. Now for green star number two, you're gonna have to go against your animal instincts, and when you go into the warp star, just let go. Now you're gonna see a secret one up, which is very tantalizing and obviously would taste very good. However, that's not what we're here for. Right over here is the green star for the slimy springs. And alright guys, we are finally here. We're ready to head back into Bowser Galaxies. Generator. Bowser's Galaxy Generator. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. And these green stars are pretty... No, one is super easy, two is annoying as all crap. But, I'm gonna get them really quickly. Anyways, as soon as I just look at which star I want to do, which was that one. Alright, let's go! Let's do it! Yeah! Now, for green star number one, simply, you're gonna have to get on top of this dandy line. And we're gonna have to scan out below on where the crap that green star might be. Well, just to be honest with you, it's kind of low. It's kind of right uh, there, so... Getting this thing can be really hard. Actually, never mind. It's actually sort of easy. I mean, it could be a little bit dangerous if you kind of can't have good depth perception. But luckily for me, I do. Yay! Now on to the hard one. <laughs> now for Power Star number two for Bowser's Galaxy Generator. I highly, highly recommend that you bring at least two cloud suits with you from the previous section. And what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to long jump all the way over here. And you can use this with Yoshi too, but I find it much easier to just use the remaining cloud suits you got from the previous section, which is like, you know, that cylinder with all the cloud suits in it, and guys, oh my, my, my gosh, we have gotten so many power stars, we have so many, so many guys, and there's only one world left for green stars, yes. What I'm referring to is the special world in the next episode of Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy 2. We are heading to the special world to get the last remaining uh, green stars. I don't know why I really started there for a second. But yes, there's only 12 more to go. But for the time being, see you guys later. And, uh, well, have a great day. It's uh, pretty nice outside. <laughs> At least where I live.